Brahmin and the Seven Fairies Read and enjoy Read the story of a lazy Brahmin who was rewarded by the fairies for his innocence and honesty. Long ago, there lived a poor Brahmin. He was a very lazy man. There were always quarrels between him and his wife. One evening, after a serious quarrel, the Brahmin decided to leave the house and go out to try his luck. The next morning, his wife made some snacks for him to eat on his way. She also packed seven chapatis in a cloth and gave them to the Brahmin. Taking his lunchbox, the Brahmin left the house. By afternoon, the Brahmin was very tired. So he sat under a tree to have his lunch. He untied the cloth in which his wife had put the chapatis. Looking at the chapatis, he said, I am so hungry that I will eat all seven of them. Now, it so happened that there lived seven fairies on that tree. They were frightened to hear the words of the Brahmin. They thought that the Brahmin wanted to eat them. They immediately came down and fell at his feet and said, O oh kind Brahmin, please do not eat us. If you spare us, we will give you a magic goat. Whenever this goat opens its mouth to graze, gold coins will drop out. The Brahmin realized that the fairies had misunderstood his words. The clever Brahmin promised the fairies that he would not eat them. The fairies kept their words and gave him the magic goat. The Brahmin took the goat and left for his home. On his way back, the Brahmin came to a village where his friend lived. He decided to stay at his friend's house for that night. The friend welcomed him warmly. The Brahmin told him everything about the fairies and the magic goat. After dinner, the tired Brahmin went to sleep. His friend crept out of the house, went to the goat and gave it some grass to eat. As soon as the goat opened its mouth to eat, gold coins dropped out. The Brahmin's friend collected all the gold coins and hid them safely in a box. But suddenly an idea struck him. Why not steal the goat? He took the magic goat and replaced it with an ordinary one. The next morning, the Brahmin took the goat and went home. When he reached his house, he told his wife about the magic goat. She was thrilled. The Brahmin brought some grass and put it before the goat to eat. The goat opened its mouth to eat the grass, but alas, nothing happened. Not a single gold coin dropped from its mouth. The Brahmin's wife was furious and said, What a foolish man you are! Those fairies have cheated you. The Brahmin was shocked and disappointed. The next morning, the Brahmin went back to the forest and stood under the same tree. He said, O oh fairies! You have cheated me. You have not kept your word. I will now eat all of you. The fairy said, We have not cheated you. We do not know why the goat did not drop the gold coins. However, we will give you a magic pan. This pan will prepare the dishes of your choice in minutes. You just have to call out the name of the dish. Look into the pan and the dish will be ready. The Brahmin took the magic pan and left for his house. Once again he reached his friend's place and decided to stay with him. The friend welcomed the Brahmin and they had dinner together. The Brahmin told him about the magic pan. After dinner, again, his friend took the magic pan and replaced it with an ordinary one. The next day, the Brahmin took the pan and returned home. His wife was happy to learn about the magic pan. The Brahmin then did exactly as the fairies had said, but nothing happened. He did not get anything from the pan. This time, his wife was very angry and said, Once again, those fairies have cheated you. Go back to them. Don't spare them this time. Once again, the Brahmin went to the fairies and shouted, You fairies! You have cheated me once again. Now I will not spare you. The fairy said, O oh Brahmin! Believe us, we have not cheated you. But we feel that somebody you met on your way has cheated you. The Brahmin told the fairies about the place where he had stayed and all the people he had met on his way home. The fairies understood everything and said, 
Your friend is the one who has cheated you. He replaced our magic things with ordinary ones. But this time we are giving you a magic rope and a magic stick. Take them and go to your friend's house. The Brahmin put the magic rope and the magic stick in his bag and went to his friend's house. He was welcomed by his friend and they had dinner together. The Brahmin did not tell him anything about the magic things and went to sleep quietly. When the Brahmin was fast asleep, his friend went to search his bag. But what a shock! The magic rope and the magic stick came out of the bag. The friend screamed for help and requested the Brahmin to save his life. The Brahmin did not say a word but enjoyed the scene. The magic stick beat the Brahmin's friend black and blue. Finally, his friend confessed that he had stolen the magic goat and the magic pan and promised to return them. The Brahmin asked the stick to stop hitting and ordered the rope to untie him. The friend returned the magic goat and the magic pan to the Brahmin. The Brahmin went home with all the magical things. The magic goat and the magic pan made his life very easy and comfortable. The Brahmin and his wife lived happily ever after. They never had to use the magic rope and the magic stick again.